The Salty Wells The Mystical and Mysterious Wells A Group Local Survey by the Bawang Group A well is a structure created to access liquid resources, mainly water. In the farthest barangay of Bawang La Union, surrounded by mountains and streams, lies a mysterious and mystical twin wells, namely the Salty Wells. The Salty Wells, also known as Maasin, is located in Barangay, Santa Monica. These twin wells' waters are briny and said to hold a healing prowess. Both wells are salty However, the left well is somehow less salted. Their waters also differ when it comes to their colors. The right well is greenish while the left well is bluish. Alongside of these miraculous wells is a huge circled shaped rock which is believed to be a throne of the Encanto who guards the salty wells. The people of the barangay believe that the wells can grant wishes and cure illnesses of anyone who bathe with its water. But when taunted, criticized, or being doubted, it becomes ineffective. Elders treat it as a gift of nature, a miracle for it is miles away from the sea and within the heart of the forest ascended a bountiful salt water wells that even when the nearby stream is desiccated these wells never dried up the wells became popular bringing people together in search for answers from the mysterious wells year 2015 it was then the barangay decided to embellish the wells, putting up fences, ornaments, and a small hut for tourists. They also built a bridge that made the journey to the wells facile. Community storytelling foretold by our ancestors are still existing in the minds of those who have heard of them in the context of the current millennium. These stories are preserved through an oral transfer, meant to feed the curiosity of children during those times, served as a childhood threat or warning to control, minimize, and handle children for them to not to do foolish things and indirectly met the purpose of content preservation of ancestral artifacts. As a 21st century student, I have heard various myths and folk stories that have happened in my locality and as far as myths around the world. These myths and folklores have made my curiosity tickle and question myself about their existence. Are they real or are they just a product of an avoidable instinct of our imagination? The existence of Capre, ugly darkish toned man, tall menacing being, tobacco addicted smoker, and as unpleasant stinking odor, is a mythological creature that is existing in the Philippines. They cannot be seen by ordinary onlookers. You need to acquire the so-called third eye for you to happen to see one of them. Only a few are to be said to have seen the existence of Capri and have experienced the chills they bring to humanity. My grandparents are both illiterates. They cannot read nor write because they lived in the context of Japanese colonization in the Philippines. My grandfather is said to have opened his third eye when he was young. Together with his friends and family, they are said to be on the run from the threat of Japanese dominance. As my grandfather had parted his way unconsciously from the others, he had found himself in the midst of a dark jungle and felt cryptic sensations all over his young body. 
after several hours of unprecedentedly unknown feelings, he had found himself staring at those creepy out of the world creatures around him. A three foot tall ugly midget, Blende, a bloody stained white dressed bride, white lady, a seven foot tall ugly bearded demon, Capri, and many other indescribable creatures that are beyond his reach. Due to my grandfather's dark skin color, he had mistakenly taken by the Capri to seemingly his same kind, though he was still just a kid. My grandfather's parents were fisher folk, and that made him acquire a dark toned skin. He was taken into the world for three straight days and treated like as if he was a copper's child. When he was on finding, he was found on the third day in the heights of a balada tree, somewhere in the mountains of Palintukang Buwang Lonyo. The story of my grandfather's loss and experience of being kidnapped by a supernatural creature had spread to their community in an instant. This served as a threat and warning for children to not to wander alone in the depths of a jungle. It has also broadened the imagination and sights of fox about the existence of other neighboring and sin citizens that are living peacefully in this world.